Hey guys, it's Alonzo, and I want to show you how I created this character and all, most of the, the concerns for creating a character like this that has a separate hand, a uh, separate type of hand into a, a rig, very basic type of rig. I call this the 20 minute rig and because we're going to rig this and Maybe, well, maybe not 20 minutes. Might take 30 minutes. I, I really don't know. But uh, it's just so fast to rig something like this. And what's, what really speeds this up, this up is that you don't have to deal with the spine. So, but you have this great flexibility. And this is just basically a deformer type of rig. And uh, so you can add different deformers on this, uh, oops on this deform, uh, this rig. And I may add a controller. I'm, I'm trying to work out some of the bugs with that, but uh, basically it's a super fast rig. And so it's like, you know, and what's nice about it is that on a very big, bloaty, puffy kind of type of uh, mid body or torso section, you have a great deal of uh, nice curvature without actually having to really rig the character, you know? So you can do a lot of fun stuff with this type of uh, type of uh, rig, and it's, it's ideal. It's ideal for uh, this type of, of, of character that has the legs separate from the body, and so it's not one single skin mesh. But still, I haven't seen too many EI rigs done with the use of this, uh, with the use of, I haven't done any, and uh, I feel like, whoa, I should, I wish I had done this a long time ago. You know, it's just really, really a nice way to rig, and it was just extremely fast. So I consider it a really nice beginner type of rig, and so for those who wanna just I basically start so so in this way you know people who are just now getting into um, rigging they have this fast quick option on how to do a very basic character so for those who just need something done uh, really quick and really easily if you can't do this in 30 minutes then maybe you might even if you're a pro you know if you say hey that's a little tricky I know it's a little tricky for me and so, uh, and I've done rigging for quite some time, <laughs> but, uh, and I was a little disappointed that it was so tricky for me, but, uh, but you know, I got it. And so, so how I did it and what I go about is what I show you. And so basically, you know, and some of the concerns, so you'll, even if you're, if you plan on getting some of the more advanced stuff. Uh, later this might be good now this will save a lot of people a lot of trouble when going into spines because the spines is where it seems like a lot of you know you have different ways of doing spines so I believe I, I, I need to break that down into uh, the spines into two uh, two different studies so IK spine FK spine and then uh, do a full rigor uh, rig character on the spine but basically, you don't need to do uh, a, a character. You don't have to even have that in order to do a really nice character. A really nice character with uh, that has a lot of uh, flexibility uh, as far as, um, you know, as far as a, uh, a character and animation. So this is something really fun that I thought I would I would show you guys and something actually like a a, a, a rig job I just did and uh, just finished and um, these these legs and, and the hands and stuff can be better but you know not nothing too complex just a very beginning rig and how to start something like this and so I won't you won't get this model because I did this for a client but you'll learn everything that has to do with what was important in doing this uh, character. So the yeah, anime, I forgot to put some keys on this. And uh, yeah, 
Look at that. I, you know, I can't do that with a regular FK or IK spine. <laughs> so uh, that's why this character is really, really interesting. And so uh, I hope you join me in uh, going through the the pings and pangs of uh, this type of rigging. And this will be the first type of ready rigs. I want to get your opinion. What do you think? Maybe this should be a go ahead or maybe I should just go ahead with something even uh, more simpler or, or, or more complex rather uh, and maybe skip this all together. I don't know. Uh, it's up to you guys. But uh, I know I did, you know, I, it took me more time than I wanted to, to figure this one out. So, uh, so I figured this would be a great way to start. And really, it's just, I, I call it, you know, the rigs are so fast. This type of rig is so, so fast to do. I tried to put an XP controller here, but uh, I'm still working that out. Uh, there's some pros and cons about it. And so I may show you one, but, uh, you know, but uh, uh, basically it doesn't, doesn't really use one. But it's just really, really fun really easy really quick type of rig uh, so I'm trying to just show you this you know and I, I I could probably just add the formers as I go here but I just put a couple of bin regions in here and boom this does look like I maybe the sunglasses make it look like a California reason huh? He's backbone. He has no backbone. <laughs> He's a whip, right? Ah. <laughs> so anyway, oh, there's my email. Ah. It's just a ball of fun. That's all I can say. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so guys, uh, so we'll get into this and just basically. I'm just gonna focus on the main body parts and the main rig. I'm not sure how I'm gonna put it together. If I should make it a download, should I just carry all the way through with this type of rig setup, or should I just handle how to do the basic setup for this and then move on? I don't know, but uh, there's a lot of fun stuff in this that seem to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, quick and easy, fast ways based on my experience of how to make this type of rig work and based on some of the jobs and the, and the stuff and this will do uh, this will do anything I needed to do uh, but this is very simple I don't know this might have taken me it might have taken me not once I had the model of course it probably took me like I don't think it took me like a full 30 minutes I don't think yeah. I mean it might have taken me longer maybe 40 minutes I don't know, it was less than an hour. And then, you know, what's really nice is that once you bend them or twist them or whatever you do, then you can just just um, click on the XP and that'll really smooth out the, the curvature. Give them really nice, everything really nice and smooth. There's no bones here. So I didn't go into that because I went into the hard part. And even when it comes to the fingers and stuff like that, there's there's a couple of ways to do that. And so what I think I should do is show you different options separately on how to do these and, you know, how to do a full rig and then how to do these separately because there's a couple of ways that, that should be good. So I think what I, I should make this like maybe a downloadable or I don't know. Uh, turn this off. No, wrong one. Turn it, turn it, turn this off. Let's see what it looks like when you, <laughs> that's with uh, a cage on it. Let's go around again. Yeah. So just getting the deformations to work for you. And uh, let me turn the cage off. And, uh, so, what do you think, guys? Just let me know what you think. And uh, uh, this actually was part of a job. I need to probably fill that out. And the actual original job 
Uh, and, and again, we're not going to use this exact, this could be a morph target too. We're not going to use this exact uh, uh, model. Uh, you can use any, we'll probably use like a cereal box. And we'll probably build the whole thing directly in electric image without any modeler. So we'll start from very scratch to absolutely nothing, open up a project file, and then create the character and and, and from there and so it should be a lot of fun stuff so we'll see how that goes and uh, just let me know how you feel about it and uh, or what you think about it